Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Emax 2205 race motors. Now first off I just want to give full disclosure and say that these were sent to me for free directly from Emax themselves. However, this will not have any effect on my final thoughts about these motors. Now if you've bought Emax motors in the past then you'll be familiar with this box and its contents. Every motor comes with its own 2.5mm Allen key. We also get a bunch of screws, some short and some long. Now one thing that's really nice about these motors, as you can see in this kit, I get three locking nuts and these are nylock nuts. Now I'm not sure once these go fully to market if they will come with three nuts like they have here, uh, but it's really nice that they have actually done that for me here. Also better to have these nuts than the dome type nuts as these rarely come undone. Now because I've opened a box for a counterclockwise, the nuts are silver and if you open up the clockwise motors you will get black nuts. Now if we take a look at these motors here which are also MT2205 Emax race edition motors uh, you'll notice that the bottoms on them are red now apparently mine are exactly the same but with the black bottom I'm not sure which one is going to go into full production whether they will have the red or the black but I think the red looks uh, quite nice actually. So during the testing we're going to go from some 50-30 props all the way up to some 50-45. We're going to use a 4 cell 45 to 90 c Turnigy Nanotech battery. So let's quickly show some of these stats. The main thing to take note of is that these run on a 3 or 4 cell LiPo and they have a max thrust of 774 grams. Now I never take all the stats as gospel anyway, here's an example of the weight. The stats said it was 29 and I'm getting about 29.8. So that's enough talk, let's get them on bench. So for our first test we're going to use a HQ5030 prop, we're going to try and pull 150 grams which will be our hover efficiency test. So our hover efficiency test at 150 grams gave us 34.2 watts, 2.07 amps and an efficiency of 4.38 grams per watt. <laughs> so our full power test on the 5030 gave us 159.6 watts, 10 amps, we actually pulled 562 grams and we had an efficiency of 3.52. So this time we're going to use a HQ5040 prop, we're going to conduct the exact same test first of all with a 150 gram pull for hover efficiency. The 150 gram hover test gave us 35.5 watts, that's 1.3 more than the 5030 prop. We pulled 2.15 amps which is 0.8 more than the 5030 and we had an efficiency of 4.22 which is minus 0.16. So our full power test on the 5040 prop brought us 203.8 watts which is plus 44.2 we managed to pull 12.77 amps which is plus 2.77 amps over the 5030 and we pulled an extra 89 grams over the 5030 with a 651 and we lost 0.33 efficiency down to 3.19 so now we're going to try a hq 5040 tri prop and see what we get with that and just so you know every test so far has been done with a brand new fresh battery The 5040 triprop pulled 32.7 watts, which is actually negative 2.8, so slightly more efficient. Also, the amps were lower at 1.98, which is minus 0.17. So with less amps and less watts being used, we actually got a higher efficiency rating of 4.52. That's plus 0.36. <laughs> The 
full power test gave us 250 watts, that's plus 46.2 over the standard 5040. We managed to pull 15.96 amps, which is plus 3.19, and we managed a massive 802 grams of thrust, that's 151 more than a standard 5040 prop. Our efficiency did go down slightly by 0.17 to 3.02. So comparing the DAL 5045 against the HQ 5040 triprop, we actually pull 32.7 watts, which is plus 2.2. The amps gone for also gone up to 2.11, which is plus 0.13, and the efficiency is slightly down by 4.58. So comparing the DAL 5045 against the Triprops, we managed to pull 223.6 watts, which is minus 26.4 watts, so slightly more efficient there. The amperage also went down to 14.4, that is minus 1.82 over the Triblades. But with less watts and amps being used, we actually pulled minus 64 on the grams, so we were down to 738. So if we divide our 738 grams by our 223.6 watts, we get an efficiency readout of 3.30 grams per watt. So some quite surprising results from these little MT2205 motors. Emacs quoted a maximum thrust of 774 grams and we actually got over 800. So that was a nice little Brucey bonus. So it looks like Emacs has hit a home run with this motor, with its Japanese imported bearings and its neodymium magnets. Not to mention its shape for the active cooling and it's also rather attractive price point of $18.99. But some of you guys might say the proof is in the flying, so let's get these on a frame and get out flying. But that will come up in a future video. Thanks for watching guys, I'll be back soon.